We're going to talk about spare spools. Now, it's a subject that isn't really spoke about a lot, and uh, I've got Nick Speed, the lovely Nick Speed, and the equally lovely Ian Smith. So we've got three angles here across two varieties of angling. So Cart, Wilds, me and Smithy, and then we've got Nick, who's our match guy. So we're going to talk about the relevance of spare spools, why we use them, in what situations, and just give you some tips and hints, and you know it's going to aid your fishing and your ability to use the spare spools in a correct manner. So. I'm going to talk to Smithy first because he's the top guy. So we'll start there. What do you? What are your initial thoughts? Here? Well, to be honest, I only use since it's been released the XTD. Now, because I only use one set of reels, I actually have four spare spools for each reel, and that's not a bit of an overkill. It's really so I've got a line for every situation. So if I'm using uh, zigs, let's say, I'll use something which is about very low stretch. So well, something like the Invisitec will be perfect. Um, equally, I've got a little club lake I fish, which is loads of margin fishing, so something like aerofluorocarbon. So I've got a spool with the right line for every situation. So I don't need to have loads of different reels, but I do need a load of different line for each individual situation. Mm. So, But one thing I always do is use the spool reducers because with changing line regularly, you know, you don't need 400 yards mm. of fluorocarbon, especially when you're fishing 10 yards, that was I do on the sort of club like every time. So just keeping the spool reducers on, you haven't got to, you know. Do, re- the, yeah. do they also come in two different... Yeah, they do. To be honest with you, Nick, all, all I do is I, because of the distance that I'm fishing, I, I only use the big one. Right. I only use the big spool reducer because yeah. I don't need to replace 300 yards of yeah, line yeah, every yeah, time yeah. I actually yeah. fish. So, so the, the what, big what do you think you get? Uh, it's a generic question because I yeah. know there's different diameters of line yeah. for So what do you think you get on with a, with a bigger reducer? Yeah, t- typical fluorocarbon, 220 yards of, of fluorocarbon. So I'm I'm never, never personally, I'm it. never going to cast anywhere near that far. You know, if, yeah. if I do 100 yards, it's something mm. because I, I just don't fish that far mm. out. So for me, having a variety of those spools with the big spool reducers on for every eventuality is perfect. Sort of, sort of yeah, like, exactly. And, yeah. I know... Because our disciplines are quite different, and I know why I use a spill reducer. What, why do you use a spill reducer? Not spill, spill reducer, sorry, the, the spare spills. Uh, well, to be honest with you, on the match side um, and on the course side in general, having spare spools is really important. Mm. Um, whether I'm long range feeder fishing, I might have quite a bit of drag on a windy day where I'm wanting to reach quite a long distance on the match side. Obviously, no comparison to, mm. to your lads, but you know, let's say. 70, 80 meters. I was just going to say yeah. what sort of yeah. distance yeah. it's going to be. 70, 80 meters, let's say with this 4,000 spool there. Mm. Um, and obviously at the longer ranges, I'd then be getting up to the XSD 5,500. I was going to say, well, you use a bait runner or will you go to a 5.5? Five, five? I'd go to a 5.5 five, five because of the line lay and the oscillation, which yeah, means yeah. obviously it's easy casting yeah. no end. However, um, there are times where I might lower my diameter of my main line. Right, okay. Even when braid fishing or mono fishing. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. to aid my casting, make more actually, so I can hit my clip and the line tightens up quicker, which yeah. all in all just tightens up your, your performance. So, how many spools would you carry? Uh, generally, you, I you carry use the same two sort of styles of reel, so it's either going to be that's right. I use a XCD 5500 at the moment, the Stratic CI4. Um, yeah, you, and and the thing is, I from a commercial fishing, I use the Stratic CI4, and for a lot of my natural fishing, up, up to 60 meters, I use my Stratic. And then after that, I use the XSD. Now, the thing is, I might be carrying 10, 15 spare spools. I, I was just going to say, yeah, yeah. I, I bet that it's because of the type of fishing you'll do. See, we, we'll cast out twice a day. Mm. I bet you'll cast yeah. it now 200 times a day. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, so it's yeah. an awful lot of wear on your line. Oh, so yeah, you yeah. might have perhaps yeah. three or four spools with the same line on. Yeah, that's right. Um, and the thing is, as well, with a lot of the spools that you might have to play, like the same with yours, I use the thick line reducers. Yeah. Mm. And look at that, straight on like that, and yeah, I'm going to do as much of it. Yeah. Basically, yeah. 100 meters in line from uh, O10 braid right up to O22 main line. Yeah, and it, th- th- what they've done is the taper on the lip allows that variance in diameter. Mm. So whether it's an O10 braid, yeah. 
or an O22 mainline means your line will never go over the lip of that spool. Right. So you've always got that lip to keep the line straight as it's yeah. coming off the spool. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's very, very important when you're fishing fine lines on yeah, the max. It's totally alien to me because that's why it interests me so much yeah. about yeah. how you've had the, the yeah. max guys fish yeah. Yeah. and the crossover that is nearly there, isn't it, with the 5 yeah. 500 yeah. 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 and the Stradix. It's, you know, and it, to be fair, a lot of my fishing, I could probably use that because yeah. I'm yeah. like you. But that's lot, right. I've used bait runners for quite a long time now because yeah. I'm not fishing massive distances. I think, the, right. I think the clever thing especially with these lime reducers as well is it takes a lot of weight off the spool if you would think how much line you're actually yeah, going to have to yeah, bend yeah. onto that and it's spool. doing nothing is it it's right. yeah. doing nothing that's right and it means that your line made absolute perfection because yeah, it's yeah, completely yeah. flat yeah, yeah so generally yeah as many, i always take loads of spools and i think it's so important to stress that you know not just have one spare spool it allows you to adjust your techniques and adjust the style of the fishing whether you're waggler fishing or feeder fishing, I want spare spools with me to make those fine tunes with me. This makes our fishing seem quite boring and normal. <laughs> 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 Nick's talking about, you know, not having that engine altering the whole light the spool is. Well, yeah. we obviously, it doesn't really matter because you're obviously what it's on the rest of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Fishing, when you, you think know, about the tackle we use on the match side, we're using, you know, light, light yeah. lengths, um, and we want to balance that rub out. So, yeah, I suppose, in a way, if I'm long range feeder fishing, I want to try and get with the shortest rod possible to reach that distance. Yeah. So I've got that playing action mm. and I've got less chance of pulling out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. I think that's the most important part to it. Yeah. That's really interesting, that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the balance is I've, I've used the, the two, three quarter velocities and the, the XR of eight kind of And all I do is I take the spare spools with me yeah. and they've got four of them. Yeah. So I have one set. Well, like Ian said, our yeah. discipline so. so Less active than yours, That's yeah. right. so I'll have yeah. one set with yeah. Aero Flora one, yeah. and then the other set with with my black tackle, mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. and normally in twelve pounds because I'm not, I'm, I'm only taking that set up the bait runners and two three quarters, so I'm not going to be casting one hundred and fifty. No, and if I am, yeah, yeah. I'll take the black mags and, and they yeah. do a six thousand tapered spool, which holds about. 270, 300 yards on line. Right. Well, even if I'm fishing at 150, which is very, very 150 rare. is that all? <laughs> well, you know, that isn't very often. But, um, I mean, I saw James at Telliet this year with the six with the safer spools for the for the mags, and um, he had a couple of crack offs and crap up. So it's just easy to change your life. It's yeah. basically doing what. Uh, say an XTD spool with a reducer does, it's, yeah. you're not having to fill it up with five, six hundred yards. You've got no knots, have you? You've got no knots at all. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. 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 They, they hold about 250, 270-ish 200 to 300 yards. Yeah. And, I, and he, sp- he spooled up two, three times in a week. Because right, yeah. mm. it's easy, it's less hassle to yeah, do yeah. it. But you, you can know? do two or three times with one bulk. Well, well I was going to say, yeah, yeah. He, he, just, yeah. he takes you know three or four bulk spools a line, well, and he knows that with those tapered spools yeah he's got enough to do three reels with one book spool yeah. so it's um, yeah, yeah. there's lots of put yeah for me i just take if and if i'm going to use me five five xtds i'll take those spare spools mm. or me, i've either got fluoro or mono because mm. i don't exactly. use braid most of the water i fish you can't use braid as a mm. as a fishing line mm. you know so yeah. so i mean i think all in all it, whether you're match fishing or carp fishing it's really really important to cut, uh, cover yourself mm. and be armed with spare spools yeah, uh, to get the best out of your fishing. Yeah. So there you have it really, an overview from the carp side and the match side. Go into your local tax shop and stuck up, up on some spare spools, no matter what reel you've got and no matter what area of fishing you, you're in. Yeah.